Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to change the function keys so that they work as standard F1, F2, F3 keys, etc. on the Mac operating system. So this is my MacBook Pro 16 inch with the M1 Max chip. And when I'm playing a game like World of Warcraft, I want to press the F1 button, for example, which is bound to this particular spell here. And if I press that, it's actually going to change the brightness setting on my computer. And that's not what I want. What I can do is press the function toggle here and press F1. And then that will actually enable my spell. However, it's a little bit of a pain to do that. So I'm going to show you a couple of methods to fix this issue. So the first thing that we can do is go to the system preferences. We can go to the keyboard section here. And then we have this option here, which says use F1, F2, etc. as standard function keys. If I toggle this on now, then what it means is that these F keys will actually function as F keys. And they're basically just going to work as normal keys. And if you want to access the brightness setting again, you just hold down the function key here. And then you can change any of the kind of Mac settings here, cleaning volume, etc. It's all going to be there. However, this is a bit of a pain because if you want to use the standard function keys for particular games, then you're going to have to go to these system preferences and then toggle them on and off, especially if you want to use the normal Apple keys again, if you're using a kind of work application. So I'm going to show you another method of doing this. I'm going to leave a link in the description for this utility called Floor. So this is a particular GitHub page which contains this kind of open source tool, which is going to allow us to detect and switch this function key mode based on which application you're using at the time. So we're going to scroll down and go to the releases section here. And then at the time of recording, the latest version is 2.5.0. So we're going to download floor 2.5.0.dmg. So once that's downloaded, we're going to open up Finder. I want to find the floor 2.5.0.dmg and then double click. And then we're going to move this into the applications folder by dragging and then dropping into there. And now I've opened my applications folder. I want to double click on floor to open it. Here we're going to press the open button. Here we're going to enable notifications and we're going to give Floor the ability to control the system. So I'm going to open system preferences. We're going to enable this accessibility button by pressing the padlock button here. Then we're going to authenticate. And then we're just going to make sure that Floor has been ticked on the left side of that box. Then we'll close this. And then I'm just going to reopen Floor now that it has all the permissions it needs. So when we use Floor, it's going to detect different games and applications. So it's automatically detected WoW. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the mode to the function mode. So we're going to toggle that on here. And that means that when we're running the game, we press the F1 key and it's actually activated the correct spell and that's now working. However, if I focus another window, for example, I've opened up Finder. Now my brightness keys are working correctly. If I press the F1, it's actually changing the brightness. Whereas if I'm in WoW, if I press F1, it's going to take me out of stealth and that game is working correctly. So within the preferences here, we can also change it so that floor starts at login. There's also a preferences menu here where you can change some additional settings here. However, this basically now works. Whenever we run a new game, we can go ahead and add new games to the floor triggers. Also, we can go into running applications and then change the behavior for each particular game or application. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other Mac tutorials on my YouTube channel. Please check it out. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.